Thank you. Thank you. The question on the money locked out. We are going to pay. I hear leader has engaged you. We are going to pay. We do not take responsibility as a government. Because when people decide to invest in one bank or one instrument or another, government is not consulted. It's an individual decision. And when you are investing, you know that you can make your returns, you can also lose. Even us as a government, when we invest in euro bonds, the market is volatile. We lose, we gain. And when we lose, we don't blame America or Britain for losing. We are advised before we invest. And so it is important for us to establish that foundation. That government will not be held responsible for the investment decisions of individuals. But this government is so caring. Mistakes were made. People were not well informed. Maybe they didn't know who to consult to be informed or advised. But we also know that the people who are affected are suffering. We heard that some people have died. Some people had to commit suicide. This government is so caring that in the first place, we granted some bailout to all the affected. And I want to tell you again that the president has directed that we do another bailout. So between now and October, we will release 1.5 billion Ghana cities to the affected people. This will not pay the entire amount because the entire amount is 4 billion. But we are showing the roadmap. We will do 1.5 billion. Inshallah, Dr. Baumia will come as the president and we will do all the rest. But as we do it, we are also cautioning you. Just as we have responsible banks, we also have bad banks. You will say, that the regulators must ensure that we don't have bad banks. But in every house, there is a mesa. So we also have to watch out. We have to watch out. Let's study them. Let's assess them. Let's seek the advice of, you know, financial advisors before we decide where to invest and how much to invest. And may God bless all of you. Yes, hello and good evening too. Everybody are uh, me and and uh, and I think uh, maybe I will be a uh, church will be uh, and those of you who always come to my Facebook page, YouTube page rather, to listen to some of the content that uh, you post on a daily basis. You know, I mean, take care of your way so there are a lot of people I can mention names, but. Uh, so I do appreciate your time and everything and yeah of course so just want to subscribe to the page uh, just subscribe to this page Ivan Che Innocent One on YouTube and most of the developments in of course so within Ghana and those of you in the diaspora more and more Ghana uh, I will try my best to bring to bear some of the critical issues uh, and the your politics you know, we we'll try to express yeah, so your opinion about some of them and how uh, me a position in this country to become what we want it to be because you know we all have our dreams hoping that this country will become a better place for all of us but yeah Ghana will not live in his own country in distress now rather no certain fledging opportunities be by available where the average and ordinary Ghanaian can dream to become whoever she or he want to become. That is the country we seek to say a fight for. So I'm sure sir, that will come true. There has been a number of development I also within the uh, political space and the social space, just like I mentioned. Over the weekend, the finance minister was with the current vice president, who is the presidential candidate and yes the flag bearer uh, for the new patriotic party the mpp uh of course you can know can send me bray and one my money dear tree has to do with the release of 1.5 billion ghana cities i uh, buy say a uh, banking sector restructuring uh, of course where the bi can't want them say a uh, bank should have taught that particular policy through and it wasn't necessary to collapse a bank we could have found another way of 
revitalizing these banks by briefing a certain air B into them. Nayama or Maya viable. Now, when it comes to regulation management, then as a former, we could have found a better way of handling the situation. Government decided to play politics for with those things, and yeah, with a lot of justification why are uh, yeah, important. So, my way, they're spending over 21 billion Ghana cities in the banking sector liquidation. Your Google banks, the baby, yeah, man, for licensing and as a for creating a mountainous unemployment situation for. Ghanaians are uh, till date banking sector job now you lose your chrome no. government hasn't been able to compensate for those losses and yet when the situation keeps deteriorating and aside this so-called bank sector renovation whatever you call it in our bank yeah you know there hasn't been any much improvement in the banking sector and so we see a recent report at every various banks you know ever we see the annual report from the various banks ranging from adb the investment Ghana Investment Bank and those way in the FS, NIB National Investment Bank in as a for or my financial position are clearly a choice here. The AA was much ado about nothing, it was out of sheer vindictiveness, political kind of a vindictiveness being a yeah, yeah, to get to certain individuals. You go on a bank, you enjoy my license because. Motivation, you know, who I want to ask here. And then, yeah, quite bad to do again. The government is admitting, say. Eh, Nipana or Modi or Musica, a year or Musica Cockham during the banking sector clean up or no, a young fat or Musica Momo. And there is something I find quite shocking, and may assure sir, also no, you'll be a bit surprised because finance minister can then say, Ming, you know, Casa President, a Kufuado, I'm on a directive, sir. Unreleasy an amount of 1.5 billion Ghana cities. Now I'm making sure, sir, or bad disperse to banking sector cleanup victims, you know. Or can say, a buyer no, a who Ghana for mobile. Now a yah buyer said yes, sir. O be quite an investmenter. Now say, I'm quite a buyer. It's not supposed to intervene, but because the coup for the government. Care for the people of this country, you know. I don't know the sole motivation ma, abang, about this particular situation. Ma. And if I'm to quote him, ma, he says, ideally, government should not be held responsible for the investment decisions of individuals. But this government is so caring, mistakes were made, and people were not informed, and they didn't know who to consult to be advised. But we also know that people who are affected are suffering. Are suffering. And we have heard that some people have died and others had to commit suicide. This government is so caring in the first place. And we granted some bailout to the affected. And I want to tell you that President Kufuado has directed that we do another bailout. So between now and October, we will release 1.5 billion cities to the affected people. This is the statement by the finance minister. And I find it very insulting. I find it very, very, very embarrassing because in the first place, who said, say, government, and they're responsible when an investment go bad? You see, we are missing the content. Say, me, the time is economic require investment, our bank, not at the end of the day, so many dividends I will bank I will me add in I I can't blame government because I have and then I have my investment choice and decision I'm making people go to him people buy shares people buy bonds and in the end it turns out to be the other way around nobody comes to blame the government but we're talking about the government that has the regulatory power to ensure say these institutions you know are legit institutions Ah, I'm here, you man, legitimately. So once you have licensed these institutions and they are operating legitimately, no, you have rather told Nepal or more my enemy said these are legitimate institutions. Ah, oh, bet him no more digger. At the end of the day, if that investment turns bad because government at some point decided to revoke the license of these banks, that you cannot say, say. That person or Nisika Kwaye, that legitimate investment, you know, 
should be held responsible for whatever be the outcome because press as a minor the state has what you called that it can idea you see there be a mechanical security political security economic security social security once uh, in this investment regard you know the economic security of that particular individual you know, must be safeguarded and provided by the government of the day just to that is why uh, your bank of ghana making sure say okra supervisory role regulatory role making sure that institutions are uh, more uh, working within the financial space in you know, and working within a certain regulatory framework at uh, um, Raso, all geared towards the fact is uh, citizens will invest their money in these institutions and the government is there as a police officer because like a private enterprise or yeah the banking sector know this why would government be involved because these are private institutions but because government own it a duty to the citizen to ensure that their economic security will be safeguarded and protected you know that is why government goes in and comes in in situation like that to ensure that so as long as these people do not invest their money in ponzi schemes and again even if it is ponzi schemes and you allow them you give them the overriding room to exist within the public space they were not hiding they were operating like in the case of nam one then i said for no me nam one was not operating in the dark the guy had offices, personnel, who were roaming around this country all over. The government saw their activities, national security was privy to their dealings in this country. They all sat quiet, nobody intervened, and allowed people to invest in some of these Ponzi schemes. So at the end of the day, you know, can the government say uh, they are responsible or liable for their investment options? No, because you allow a criminal entity to operate within a legal system a legal space and at the end of the day they were able to hoodwink a lot of people into believing that these are legitimate financial institutions so at the end of the day you know government you have failed and you have a duty to ensure say you you, you protect these individuals so don't go out there mr man and tell people say you are so caring that is why you are intervening you fail the people because when this banking sector crisis no cost no you had a duty to have intervened and the options were so many, we could have opted for other options. So government, our duty to start with, to ensure say, that that financial guarantee, that safety, you know, will be provided. Some legitimate investment, you know, will not turn out to become victims. That is why all the supervisory rule to ensure say, Bank of Ghana at some point in time you no know, make sure say, that the standard are adhered to by these banking institutions. And you see, these are private institutions, then as far they are operating, they are there for profit. If your government, you know, who close who I now I'm sure we are they will engage in excesses. In recent time, we've seen a lot of bank banking banks folding up, even in the state in America, even in 2023. I can recount the number of banks uh, in America. And the transition and acquisition will take place now. Individuals from Mudo Musika Kogu, these banks were never affected because it happened smoothly. The very moment a bank in the best sense is a distress because you know, then government moves in. You either declare bankruptcy. Now yeah, bank you know, we are taking over smoothly and this will not affect customers and their business i mean some of these banks you know will exist for instance in 2023 silicon valley bank ah oko california and their banker all the big events and tech tech companies now more a year you know you know it's a bank when i know more music and as a four because and i'm so i'm doing music bond and then as a four no matter the day no i'm from first one you know the bank you know if they and this prompted other intervention ah a man for buy immediately nane on be acquire bank you know major asset of the bank was acquired in ensuring said that smooth transmission uh, transition you know will happen will happen uh, in recent time another bank in 2023 uh, a signature bank in america the same thing and so it uh, happened here yeah. and there are a lot of these banks are uh, 
you bet me at say I can't ever say they are fresh on my memory has to do with the first Republican bank in America and also recently you know a failure yeah. but the very moment a bank you know I am now so bankruptcy you know now there is somebody ready to take over first Republican bank say a JP Morgan Chase that big bank, you know, and I acquire, and I've told you, say, back in the time of America, somewhere uh, back of Oba a time of Obama in 2008, when America has suffered that recession, you know, and our banking sector, you know, a uh, go through a lot of distress, you know, similar situation occasioned, and the American government, it has to to why all the man, big firms, uh, or they were able to build a lot of these banks out of this financial distress uh, that were. In mergers and acquisitions at not the day some of these institutions you know are very big they are operating in the financial space you know that is what we do but here the situation was a bit different the motive behind this so-called financial reengineering and as a banking sector cleanup you know were political so people did not actually sit down and yet thought it through to ensure say what are the pragmatic approach for instance over here the purpose in the bank here i am not holding brief for purpose in doom but the reality of the situation is that Pepper was in Indian bank, you know, a dole out millions of dollars to a year contractors. I'm weird, mama buying. So most of the money is now their bank and now and reflect it on paper and then I said for where depositor and now where Sika, yet they are my contractors. I'm not quite yet, you ma. I'm who hold you or more way as I buying supposed to pay them so that the bank and inside the kind of Government was unwilling to pay. At some point, it that the report said, "Well, okay, you mama by India." So, person was say, "Can't we a contractor?" Another person was say, "Can't we see car? You need to meet the finance minister and let go ten percent or some percentage." Be I'm sure that some of you watching are quite aware. So, and this is the kind of work we now, in some the Bank of Ghana, the Babon, this is a Indian bank was engaging in illegal money transfer to the United States of America, sixty-two million dollars. Now, you see, these are pure criminal activities. So, if Pakwasi Indian and the bank are engaging in this fraudulent act, a boom raswa, he is not above the law. You pick him on as an individual, and any single person involved, Biano, you trash them. You make sure they face the law squarely. You don't out of that say say it's a justification to revoke the licenses of these banks. It doesn't make sense. You understand? And again, in the situation of GN Bank, my culture, most of the Sikana Koyeni went into portfolios among for the Koye, your friend is saying uh, contract work and then I said for no the expectation is that government will pay these people and these even builders will come back to pay government. So if government decides that he will not pay these banks, I know that they obviously you know you don't expect this money these banks, you know, to have that particular of your friends and servants now who expect you know that liquidity you know will not be there. And they will not be solvent. So as a state, you know, yeah, your activities of government in near marketing, get your course you know, and these particular banks and by financially distressed. And again. That minimum recapitalization, I ye move away. I ye jump pay no overbear four hundred percent. Our banks are also more financial difficulties and minimum recapitalization. All of a sudden, a jump from below hundred million Ghana cities to over four hundred million Ghana cities. And these are banks are more facing obvious financial challenges. So clearly, I trust say the motive was already there. Yen 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 these bank. And as we speak now, most of these local banks are off. And these were banks are not more individual Ghanaians. So now we've taken all of them off the table. And then now the problems are with us. We have spent a whooping 25 million billion Ghana cities in this so-called banking sector cleanup. And they come back and tell you different stories. Finance is cannot cry as we speak. There is no definitive friends saying conclusion on what there's that figure. I go into this whole financial sector cleanup. We buy no other kind of figure. We buy no, of course, some of the books that Bank of Ghana is quoting 22, Dr. Baumi at some point 23, the president will come and quote 18, the previous finance minister, whole lot of nonsense. And I hear to go because they think that people will not pick them one after the other and do proper interrogation. And it's the reason why we are here today. 
So the mess you know, was created by you in the first place, Mr. Man. So if you are doling out money to reinvest people who are victims of this whole banking sector cleanup in the first place, you are the cause. And it is your job because you intentionally collapse these banks because when they, because there were other options are able to me exploit to ensure say bank ownership will change the board management through regulatory mechanism and re-engineering no? we could have done a lot at the top without affecting the core activities and the businesses or the daily transactions of these banks are able to me call to affect the ordinary people but today it's government not aware say, a lot of people have died you know a number of people more who because of this banking sector crisis in the NASA forum. Nipane woo 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 after bare five to six years, you know, a few normal catchers or mati, and they are coming to intervene. All these things are for election purpose because he knows they are going for elections. How is it that suddenly government has found money trying in a desperate attempt to compensate these people? Why? Because they know that so the average and ordinary Ghanaian is so gullible that in situation and situation like this, you have people going out there. The same thing as a Kaya situation. In the last 70 years, government couldn't do a thing about the Kaya situation. Now they go there and tell them we are training Kaya. For what? You see, I don't know for how long some of these unwitty politicians who are pretending to be witty or continue say, to take Ghanaians for granted. Or because they think everybody is a fool you see this kind of cheap politics will only sound well in the minds of confused individuals who don't know their left from their right emotional individuals who don't even understand politics but in the grand scheme of affairs where people stand and see things in the way they are supposed to be some of these things are just child's play and they don't buy any conviction from anybody we need to sit up put aside politics and begin to think rationally as people and look at the problems right in front and make sure say we profess solutions a bit why about this cheap politics in the first place you created a problem we show mess here look at the number of people you, you've sent home the unemployment situation you've created my friend, spare this nonsense. You see, when you stand on the political space and you think people listening to you are gullible, you can just say anything to them. But when that and seminar will kind of our tendency to come out for people to analyze to hear, sometimes spare us this nonsense because you see, you at a time. We understand you've messed up this country, the economy is in tatters. We are just trying to find a way to come up.